Hi, uh, welcome to Happy Valley TV, where only Valley Unexplored isn't a happy one. And tonight's guest is Lyle Weger, and we're going to be discussing space and the alien race. Lyle, I know you've got a few opinions on this topic, and what are your opinions? What are my opinions? Or your views on... Where are, where are my views? Okay. Alien life forms. Area 51 is a place that everyone should try and visit one day, if they don't shoot you on the way. <laughs> yeah. um, the Roswell, it happened. It happened. Um, last question, Brian. Do you believe that aliens have visited this planet? Oh, they they helped us get where we are today. In what respect? Uh, Technological technological advances and um, uh, Jesus and little things like that, sending people that need to be sent at the right time. Are we, are we currently being visited by these people? Yeah, um, the secret government and the, and, um, the military industrial... The military industrial um, area. Yeah. Who, they all know about it. Who, who are these uh, secret governments that you speak of? Very, very, very rich people. Is it because they're alien that they're rich? No, but they got in... They got in pretty early and got all the technology from them and made all the money from them. Because money makes the world go around. Do you think uh, maybe society could benefit from knowing these things? Or do you think it's best that No, up? because half the people in the world will freak out and want to shoot themselves or shoot their next-door neighbour thinking they're an alien. No one can handle it. Why not? Because everyone's taught to believe what they, the government wants them to believe in. That. No one, you know, a lot of people don't have an open mind. Well, that's what They're still is. asleep. That's what Happy Valley TV is here to do, to give people a mind and educate the public on opinions that aren't normally expressed. But then again, I could just be the loony one. And, you know, that's all. Good. Believe what you want to believe. We, we don't have loony guests. Don't preach, program. though. Don't preach. Just believe what you want to believe. Have you personally encountered an alien? No. Do you believe that it's quite probable that you might in the future? No, because I'm nothing special. I don't want to see me. <laughs> well, obviously they're not out to uh, attract uh, people that have media attention. No, not me. Yeah, no. Is this, pro- is this prominent in Australia at the moment? Um, not so much in Australia, I don't know why, but um, there's a lot of um, world leaders that have come out and said, yeah, I've seen you at those, I know. Well, JFK was probably assassinated because he was going to he was going to bring out the truth on it. Well, I know um, from reading, uh, I think it was Henry Ford, you might help me there, Gordon. Gordon's on camera at the moment, but I think it was Henry Ford that actually put a petition to the... Um, U.S. Congress actually to investigate um, the Area 51 issue. I don't know if you've heard um, of that. Ronald, Ronald Reagan actually in the 80s come out and said, "Wouldn't it be something if a if an in, um, a threat from outer space came for the Earth? Wouldn't that bring everyone together?" Right, Ronald Reagan, when he was president, said that. Why? And I was trying to build Star Wars at the time, anyway. But there's a reason they can't build Star Wars is because they won't. They're not allowed to put weapons in outer space. Right. Well, look, we are unfortunately this is a very controversial topic, and we do have to wrap it up for time reasons. But I do appreciate your time, Lyle. Not a problem. Thank you very much. <laughs>